This is Lesson 75, VHDL Example 48. And in this example, we'll write a VHDL program to generate a clock pulse when you push one of the push buttons. This is another very useful program that we'll use a lot in some of our future programs. Here's the circuit. It looks very much like the debounce circuit we had in the previous lesson. The only difference is that instead of taking delay 3 as the input here, we take not delay 3. We take the output of the not Q coming in. And what we'll see is when you push the push button, this will generate a single clock pulse in the output. Let's see how it works. Here's the uh, program. The entity has the inputs input. That's going to be the push button. C clock, our low frequency 190 hertz clock, say. Clear and output. These are just single bits. We're not going to do four of these. There's just a single one of these. So these are all of type standard logic. We have delay 1, delay 2, and delay 3 as signals of type standard logic. We've got a process C clock clear. If clear equals 1, we'll set delay 1, delay 2, and delay 3 to 0. So we'll start out with zeros here. That's our asynchronous clear. Else, on the rising edge of C clock, C clock tick event and C clock equals 1, delay 1 gets input, delay 2 gets delay 1, and delay 3 gets delay 2. But when we compute the output, the output's going to be delay 1 and delay 2 and not delay 3. So we're going to bring not delay 3 in. So this output becomes 1 when delay 1 is 1, delay 2 is 1, and delay 3 is 0, that is not delay. So let's see how it generates a single pulse. Here's the simulation. We've got the clock coming in. Suppose you push the push button here, and now this is going to also do the debounce automatically for you because this C clock is going to be our low our low uh, frequency, 190 hertz clock. So there'll be enough delay to debounce it before the clock comes. So here's delay 1. So you push it here, we get delay 1. Now delay 2 is 0, delay 3 is 0. And then on the next rising edge of the clock, delay 1 is 1, delay 2 is 1, and delay 3 is 0, which means that not delay 3 is 1, which is what's into the AND gate, so we'd have a 1, 1, 1, so the output goes high. But as soon as delay 3 goes to 1, not delay 3 will be 0, which causes the output to go back to 0. So we just get a single pulse that's high for one clock period, and then it goes down. Now notice when we release it, we don't get another clock pulse because when this goes to zero, the zero shifts in. Well now the output of the AND gate will be zero, zero, if this is one, zero. Remember the output only goes to one if delay one is one, delay two is one, and delay three is zero. And we don't get any of that condition here. So this is a very useful circuit for generating a single clock pulse when you press a push button, and we'll use this program in many of our future programs.